Okay, this is the Edexcel GCSE paper, Mathematics A, paper 1, non-calculator, from the 11th of June 2013. And you have 1 hour and 45 minutes to do this. Let's just first have a look at what formulas you get. Formula. Cross-section times by the length. Volume of any prism, if you know the area, multiply it by the length, you'll get the volume of the prism. Area of a trapezium, they tell you that, you should know that anyway, but they still tell you and you will need it later on. Volume of a sphere and surface area of a sphere, curved surface area of a cone and volume of a cone. And with a triangle set up like this, they give you the trigonometry rules. Not the Sokotoa rules, this is when there is not a right angle triangle, so be careful. You have the sine rule, the cosine rule, and finding the area of a triangle. And you've got the quadratic equation, which allows you to find the solutions of any quadratic expression. Even one that you should be able to uh, factorise yourself. If you forget how to do it, you can still try and use that, which is just substitution. can get a bit confusing, but... It is just substitution, just be careful with negative numbers. So, question one. Given that 1793 multiplied by 185 is equal to 331,705, write down the value of. Now, too many people don't read questions and forget to read that part there. Okay, that part there pretty much tells you what this is going to be. You don't have to start using grid methods or column methods or anything like that to work this out. Just use that. So, if 1793 multiplied by 185 is this, then what's the difference? Look at the difference. The only difference is 185. 185, they're both the same. 1793 has gone down to one point. 1.793 what does that mean? that means it's been divided by a thousand one two three which means all you're going to do is take this answer and divide it by a thousand so that is going to be I'll write it in three three one seven oh five divided by a thousand one two three we're hundred thirty one point seven oh five part B it's a division, 331,705 divided by 1.85. Now, look at this one. If that times that is that, then this divided by this will give you this, and this, the big one at the end, divided by that will give you that. So, if I just write down 331705 divided by 185 gives... 1,793, well, that one there, what's the difference? The second number has been decreased, it's been divided by 100. So if I divide the second number by 100, now think about this, division can get you confused. If the second number in a division sum gets smaller, then the answer is going to get bigger. Think of it like this, think of this as the amount of money that you've got, and that's the amount of people that you're going to share it between. If the number of people that you share your money between becomes less, then everyone's going to get more money. So if 185 has been divided by 100 to get 1.85, then you're going to have to multiply that number by 100 to get the answer. 1793 multiplied by 100. You learnt it in primary school. Add two zeros on the end.